Do you approve of the video, Mr. Ziggy? Is that a yes? Is that a yes, Mr. Ziggy? Okay. Hey guys, it's Jason from the Glamping Guys, and we've got some awesome news. We bought a new RV. We've been in it for about six weeks. It's our second Grand Design. We love the first one so much, we decided to stick with you, Grand Design. Hope you're watching, but we uh, have upgraded to something a little larger. You know, we're much more comfortable with the towing and being full-time, you know, for three years. We uh, decided that we uh, were outgrowing the first one and you know our needs have changed and evolved. So we have been in a Grand Design 390RK-R for about six weeks now. We got it kind of decorated the way we want. We still have some little tweaks here and there we're gonna do. But at this point, we thought it was good enough and ready enough to share with all of you guys. So without further ado, Let's get started on this RV tour because we are so excited to share it with all of you. All right, well, welcome guys. Figured we'll just kind of start at the uh, very front here. And you can see one little nice thing that they have done is that uh, they, with this model, it's a 2021, uh, they just uh, updated the exterior color. So you can see it's definitely a little bit more of a kind of white. Uh, one thing that's kind of cool is that, you know, depending on how the sun, you know, shines on it, it definitely uh, looks anywhere from a bright white to uh, still a little bit of a creamier kind of off-white with a little maybe beige built into it. I don't want to really say eggshell, but I guess you could maybe call it eggshell as well. Another cool thing is that they've upgraded the decals, and you can see that they put a little bit of a kind of rusty red into it, and I really like how that makes everything kind of pop. But man, Grand Design, you have definitely stepped up just in the pa past three years. Uh, you have just uh, really um, made the quality of your fifth wheels, I feel, even, even a lot better. Uh, just the attention to detail that Grand Design has is just bar none. We were actually uh, considering possibly getting um, another fifth wheel. We looked at a few brands and we were comparing them and just, you know, nothing compares. But uh, let's go ahead and kind of walk down through here. This is the patio area. I went ahead and opened up the cargo, but even the front cargo is much larger. I think they were able to finally go into, uh, you know, the, as I call it, the guts, the organs of the RV and kind of tweak that and make it a little bit more neater where they were able to push back even a little bit further in and create a little more space. Because even just the front pass through, I would say I've probably got maybe an extra foot to foot and a half of room just in the front. Uh, another nice little upgrade that they've done is that they now have those really cool easy lift more ride steps. So we're really enjoying those. You just need, you know, a little touch of the finger and it'll lift right up. Uh, the drawback though is that right on the inside of the door there's this little hydraulic little thing like uh, your awning arms have. Uh, so that does, you know, make just a little bit of a larger fr footprint right in the uh, front of the door, but that's fine. Uh, another big selling feature of this fifth wheel were just all of the windows. We have a huge hallway window which is just amazing we have two opposing hydraulic slides which are just beautiful with windows but the biggest feature is the raised kitchen or 
rear kitchen, whatever you want to, you know, call it. But it creates just all this awesome pass through in the back. Uh, it's very similar to the RES 375. I believe that's the model. And we were looking that, at that as well. But when Grand Design came out with this floor plan last year, we were just kind of waiting because we saw in every kind of increment as they were building it and coming out with, you know, di uh, different, you know, models throughout even just 2020, they were slowly updating the interior each time. Uh, but they finally updated it to this just beautiful light interior with just these beautiful white countertops. Uh, but you'll see, we'll be taking you inside shortly. But here is the stove slide out for the kitchen. And the other great feature that they've added is that there's a real oven vent and that opens and closes based on when air is blowing out. When it's not, it just shuts tight. So you don't have to worry about birds or anything getting up in there. But so far it's just been working wonderfully. Uh, the other great thing is also having this up high window because inside there is not a dining room table in this model. There's a bar and it's great because you've got two high up windows where when you're sitting upstairs in the kitchen, you can still look outside and have these amazing views. But for me, this was the biggest selling point right here, which is just all of this wonderful storage. And I've been really busy. I've been organizing and I love to organize. I'm sure you guys all know that. And we have just been having a blast, just really enjoying it, playing with all the features. And uh, we just can't wait to uh, get out on the road for the next couple of years and really, really use the hell out of this new, brand new RV that we have. Uh, another great feature is it has this huge door in the back, and this is my favorite part right here. It has a built-in, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. It has a built-in pull-out cargo drawer, and it holds 800 pounds. So. I've been really having a good time kind of putting stuff in here. I'm just so happy I finally have a place to put my ladder. You know, it's kind of funny. I've kind of got everything kind of laid out already where it's going to go. But at the same time, now I could buy more stuff if I want. I'm kidding, but um, you never know. I've got the room now for it. So we'll go ahead and just kind of close this. And the great thing is that it clicks and it locks into place and I'll just come around over on this side and give you a little uh, quick view of how this looks. Now this is the side I figured that I won't be accessing as much um, so I now have all of my decorations for Halloween and Christmas all lined up here. I even still have a little more room right up there in the front. Uh, one more thing I did want to make note to all of you is that uh, I was concerned and, and my concern um, was justified after uh, we had a couple of like uh, really hard rainy uh, stormy days. I was a little bit concerned about you know those dreaded black streaks that we all get on our RVs uh, showing up more on the white surface and sure enough especially here this whole area was covered in black streaks. Um, I did go up and clean off the roof really good. We haven't gotten any rain since then, so I'm thinking the roof was just probably a little bit dirty. Uh, I also gave uh, our new home a really good uh, wash and wax. I'm not endorsing them, but I've been using wash wax all forever, and I highly recommend it uh, because uh, it's just amazing. But yeah, well, I think what I'll do real quick before I sign off for any of you who are kind of interested I'll show you our front yard area here. And another thing that I bought, I mean, there's tons of videos, so um, that's why I didn't do one on it. But we bought uh, one of those quick set clam gazebos, and we've been really, really enjoying it a lot. I actually uh, got the really, really big one, so we kind of hang out in here, bring in the laptop, whatever. And uh, I also keep our uh, e-bikes right in there too. It just helps uh, keep the sun off of them all day. 
but yeah. And then I have these little tarps put up because uh, at this campground, uh, the RV sites like back up, like right on um, the back of each other. And so right through there, you can actually see right into the other person's site. So I just got these cheap tarps to kind of tie up there just uh, so we both have a little bit more privacy. But guys, I think uh, we're done with the outside. I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. And we are now going to go inside. And I will give you a fabulous little tour of all of the new cool things that this RV has to offer and show you the floor plan as well. So I think we need to get started. All right, guys, are you ready? Here's the big reveal. Ta-da! Isn't this RV gorgeous? You know, they say that they can't make an RV that crosses all your T's and dots off all the I's. But man, for us, I definitely think they've finally done it. Uh, we have been, you know, kind of uh, waiting for the past three years for Grand Design to come out with a new floor plan, which gives us the feel of a residential like condo or apartment, as well as the amazing, wonderful storage. So anyway, I'm gonna take you for a quick little tour here. Now, I know that the camera is gonna look a little bit weird because I gotta fit everything into the video, so I had to use the wide angle. That's how big this RV is. Hello, Mr. Ziggy, how are you doing? Mr. Ziggy definitely knows something's been going on and we got him a nice little uh, brush and everything, so he's looking good and pretty and fresh for you guys. And uh, anyway, why don't we just uh, get started? So we'll come up here first, but the great thing is that, you know, the rear kitchen is raised. So it brings you up into a separate, beautiful space. Will you look at this? I mean, just look how beautiful this is. An actual kitchen island that doesn't have the sink in it. We love to cook, we love to bake, and once it gets a little bit cooler, I'm seeing that kitchen island right there, having many, many dates with bread dough and you know just making all kinds of good uh, baked goods for sure. Uh, the great thing is that this RV also has opposing slides. So right here is the kitchen slide where the stove is located. And another great thing that Grand Design has done, and they've been listening to their customers, we now have an Asigna full-size oven. And it's just, it's amazing. Uh, you can fit like a really good sized turkey in there. We uh, have tried out the oven. It has a really good consistent temperature. Uh, this isn't Grand Design's fault, but the only thing that we wish we had was some sort of like digital thermometer readout because we actually had to buy an actual oven thermometer and you can see it right in there. I mean, it wasn't that expensive, but you know, we do have to kind of move it around and stuff when we have stuff in the oven. Uh, it would just be nice to have something that was built into the oven to let us know that, but you know, it's not a deal breaker. Uh, we also love that Grand Design actually has a real vent. Uh, for any of you who are in older Grand Designs, you know that the vent um, is just kind of through the microwave if the stove's underneath, and all it does is just blow the air up through the bottom of the microwave up onto the ceiling. There wasn't an actual exterior vent. So uh, it's really nice. And it's got a little light here, and then of course, there's the vent and there's an external flap on the outside that kind of locks and unlocks uh, as it's being used. 
And then right here is the pantry. And then you can see on the stove, we've got some storage here on both sides. Uh, as you guys know who have been following us, we are glampers, we are not campers. So we still had to keep the residential fridge with ice maker. We love the fact that the kitchen sink is now dedicated over into its own area. Uh, there's a beautiful window where you can look out into the back. And then guys, look, look at all this amazing storage, even more counter space, more storage. Uh, it's just amazing. Um, there's also a beautiful window right back there. And then this is where they have the microwave and the microwave is actually connected also to an external vent. So whatever you're cooking, all that heat and steam is actually being vented out of the RV, which is just amazing. And then right down here, we've got the bar. Uh, we never used the dining room table in our first grand design, 344. Uh, so we have also seen a lot of people just take out the dining room table and chairs and turn that one slide out into an office. But we thought this was the best of both worlds because there is an actual built-in bar and Todd can set up his keyboard long ways across here, get his music recording done. I've got my laptop here, which is amazing, where I can do all the uh, video editing and all that for uh, our YouTube channel. But yeah, but this is the kitchen and it's just amazing. Oh, uh, one little hack that we did is that right up here, there's an actual facade that covers this whole area. We took that out because there's actually a lot of room right up here. And we got these awesome little wicker baskets that we found at Ross and we painted them the same color as the trim. And so now we can put some stuff up there like dry goods, bread, things like that. And we've got some extra storage right up there. And, uh, oh, and I didn't mention it, but right over here where the microwave is, that is the other slide. So basically uh, the kitchen has opposing slide outs, which is just wonderful. And this is just such a great shot right here where you can see down into the living room. And since we're on the subject of slide outs, you can see here we've got a slide here and a slide here, which just creates this open living room effect, which is just amazing. So the thing that we really fell in love with this fifth wheel is that it actually has separate spaces. The first one was a great little starter apartment, but we are now officially in our home and we're planning on staying in this probably for at least, I would think 10 years. Uh, the other great feature that just got our attention and it was amazing is this whole wood facade right here. Now um, we went ahead and upgraded our TV and uh, we also put in a sound bar, but the fireplace you can see is just gorgeous. And then right in here, is where I keep my Xbox. And then there's a built-in sound system here, which goes up into these speakers, but I don't use them because we've got this amazing sound bar that's just way better. And then right over here on the right side is my PlayStation. But the cool thing is that this facade is actual teak wood. And I believe Grand Design gets it as a repurposed wood and it comes from India. But anyway, this is just gorgeous. Uh, this was one of the big selling features. Uh, just the amazing residential feel that you get in this fifth wheel. Just amazing. And Ziggy, he's right at home. He fell in love with it easily. Um, Scott, you know, your recliners, you've got the mirror. Hello, everyone. And then uh, right over here, Todd made this beautiful little storage cabinet and we actually have it Velcroed to the wall so it doesn't like move around on travel days. And uh, you guys have seen this photo before. Todd painted this for me uh, for Christmas, maybe about five years ago, but uh, that's Mr. Ziggy, one of my favorite paintings he's ever done. All right, well, I think um, we can go on up into 
the other part of our house. Oh, um, another cool thing too I forgot to mention is that Grand Design, I feel they've been listening to their customers because a lot of people are asking for lighter interiors. So you've got more of an open filling in your space. Uh, so Grand Design um, has actually started putting a little bit of a gray and lighter tones into their wood to lighten it up. And then the other great thing is that on their valances, uh, they have upgraded their design. No, no more of that shiny kind of glitter. And uh, the cloth is also a much uh, lighter tone and color as well. But it just really brightens up the whole space. So we will go ahead and come on upstairs here. Uh, another great thing is you've actually got a little walk-in, well, I shouldn't say walk-in, a little uh, like storage closet for, um, for shoes. Um, here's where we kind of keep our knickknacks and that's where we keep the broom and the vacuum cleaner. Uh, it's got a one-touch control system that actually syncs to your phone, which is really awesome. So uh, no more having to push buttons if I wanna bring in the slides or bring in the awning, which is amazing. And then up here is you know, the control center, and then there's a lot of storage up there. That's pretty much where I keep all my video games out of the way. And then we have a his and his closet. Todd gets the top and I get the bottom. So I keep like my winter stuff in here, winter coat, rain coat, extra mass. I've got my keys, stuff like that. And then uh, down in here, is where uh, I store some extra stuff, including like some backup pairs of shoes. And then Todd had made this for our other RV for um, right at the front entrance for also putting more shoes and things like that. And so we have a perfect spot here in the hallway for it now. And we just keep, you know, shoes in here too. Uh, the cool thing is that I'm not gonna open the window because uh, the filming will get really washed out but there's this huge window right here in the hallway. We'll come into the restroom now here. And this was another big selling feature. I don't know how Grand Design did it, but they were able to now utilize, I think about the same space that we had in our other bathroom, but we now have a double vanity sink, a his and his sink. Isn't that amazing? We couldn't be more tickled pink. We are just so excited. And then, the great thing too is that they have updated the shower. There is a flip down, I believe it's cedar uh, bench and it's wonderful. And then right through here is this amazing like shower spa feature where you've got like your actual shower head and we actually replaced this. We got this on Amazon and then you have a handheld shower sprayer which is wonderful for when we clean the shower. They have built-in like baskets now. They have two spray nozzles here and here, which is amazing. And then here is the control for the actual shower system. But uh, this thing is just, oh my God, it's so good. It just, the showers are just amazing on that. So uh, I'll just kind of flip around here so you guys can kind of see here. And then uh, the wonderful thing too is that the mirror, hi is that the mirror has um, this wonderful like backlighting around it. So it just puts this beautiful glow in the bathroom. Let's see here. Yeah, see? All right. So moving on into the bedroom. Now this is one thing that hasn't changed is the bedroom. Same layout, you know, just uh, updated, you know, fixtures, fabric, the wood, and all of that, so uh, nothing nothing new about this. Same exact uh, design of the bedroom. Now, uh, two things Grand Design did do. I don't know if it was because they were having maybe slide out issues in previous models, but the bedroom also operates on a Schwintech system, and it's a little bit shorter. Um, I've been told about a foot shorter. I, I think that's a little too much. Uh, but um, I would say probably about maybe six, in six inches uh, shorter uh, because um, what they did is that they also made the dresser here 
a little bit skinnier to make you think you're still getting the same amount of room, but the slide out doesn't extend as far as the other one. So I'm not sure why they did that. I'm assuming here that maybe there was maybe a flaw in the um, design of the other one and maybe it was causing too much stress on uh, the electrical slide out motors, who knows. But yeah, but anyway, so this is the bedroom. Uh, another thing that I did, um, Grand Design, I appreciate you stepping up and at least in the, uh, the living room giving us a smart TV, but the one in the bedroom is just awful. So I replaced that and I was able to fit a 32 inch high def TV right up in the same space that the old TV was. Uh, so um, you don't wanna go over 32 inches because uh, even putting this in, uh, it was a little tight, but it did fit. But yeah, but anyway, we'll just uh, kind of come back down through the hall here so you can kind of get one more kind of a uh, little perspective shot as if you were coming from the bathroom or the bedroom, but yeah. But uh, we, we, we love it. Uh, we've had it now for about six weeks. We wanted to kind of just uh, you know, make sure everything um, was going well. Um, we uh, have also noticed that uh, we haven't really had any issues. Um, Grand Design definitely seems, you know, even in the three years, upgrading from the 344 GK to this one, uh, which is the 390 RK for Rear Kitchen Dash R. Uh, for any of you who want to go online and look at the model number. Oh, by the way, Grand Design, if you're listening, um, you guys need some LGBT representation. The times are a-changing, and uh, there's a lot of gay people who RV now, and that is a very, very untapped market that you guys might be interested in wanting to uh, maybe start advertising to. Just saying. Well, anyway... Um, I think I'm going to wrap up the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tour, and we will see you out on the open road. And until next time, you guys have a glamtastic day. Be kind, be safe, and Ziggy. Any last words, Mr. Ziggy? You want to say anything? No? <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a lovely day. Bye bye. Peace. Leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you. Ah!